NASA scientists have announced a major discovery, a sister solar system that's very similar to ours. And this could mean there's a great potential for life millions of years away. KT Light 5's John Finolio joins us live from the Griffith Observatory. Hello, John. Hey, Cher Michael. Well, it is an out of this world discovery, the scientific breakthrough, the result of a high powered infrared telescope at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Now, the discovery ushering in a new era of exploration beyond our solar system that brings us one step closer to answering the question is there other life somewhere out there? And you can just imagine how many worlds are out there that have a shot to becoming a habitable ecosystem that we could explore. No longer the stuff of science fiction, but a reality. The Spitzer Telescope pulling back the curtain on seven planets similar to Earth, more than 200 trillion miles away. This is the most exciting discovery we've had yet with Spitzer in its 14 year, almost 14 years of operation. NASA revealing its intergalactic findings at its headquarters in Washington, D.C. Scientists say it's the first time they've found so many Earth-sized planets orbiting one star. Each planet has light and temperature similar to Earth, their densities suggesting rocky surfaces or water. And where there's water... This is a great opportunity to study Earth-sized planets, atmospheres in great detail. There could be life. Three of the planets are in what NASA calls the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold. Findings, scientists say, that suggest discovering another Earth is only a matter of time. This is a search that will go on for many generations. And just the fact that we're this close now uh, to finding so many habitable worlds is really exciting. Some Angelinos over the moon by the discovery. Okay, that's pretty awesome. While mindful that Mother Earth... <laughs> and it's our only home. <laughs> we ought to take good care of it. That's a long way away. And that's just the beginning. Next year, NASA hopes to launch the James Webb Space Telescope. It will be positioned one million miles from Earth, and it's supposed to measure the atmosphere of some of these planets and beyond. Again, hoping to answer that question, are we alone in the universe? At the Griffith Observatory, I'm John Finolio. I'll send it back to you. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. All right, John, thank you. <laughs> Still